Actually, most of the things that I'll be quoting to you are from Ibn al-Qayyim al-Jawziyya, rahmatullahi alayhi. The second Shaykh al-Islam after his Shaykh, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. And Ibn al-Qayyim, he used to be called Tabib al-Qulub, the doctor of the hearts. Allah gave him some amazing knowledge when it came to the intricate aspects of one's heart and how it is guided or it is misguided based on the evidences. And so when I try to, I have the book in Arabic that is, the book is called Al-Fawaid. He said, Rahimahullah, pay attention to this, this is interesting. Little success from Allah, bad views, unawareness of the truth, corruption of the heart, laziness and making dhikr, wasting time, distaste for the creation, estrangement between the servant and his Lord, the prevention of the supplication from being answered, hardening of the heart, the termination of blessings from one's provision and lifespan, the prevention of knowledge, humiliation at the hands of the enemy, constricting of the chest, prolonged grief and sorrow, a wretched life of poverty and a gloomy state of being are all produced from sins and neglecting to remember Allah. Just as crops from water, just, just as crops are produced from water and burning from fire. And the opposites of these things are produced from the obedience to Allah. Did you, did you, did you remember them? I know the baby was a little excited, but uh, whoever uh, is the father, if they can kindly uh, pick up the child, inshallah ta'ala, jazakum la khairan. It looks like they want to get on the camera. Not yet. When you start giving lectures, inshallah. Tayyip. So these were a series of offenses. If you were to be taken to court for that, you'll be in prison forever. Right? Of all these problems, laziness and of dhikr and destruction of the heart and all these things are all a consequence of sins. And don't belittle the sins. We're not talking about major sins, minor sins as well. And we dealt with the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, how minor sins will destroy one by while accumulating them. And the scholars say, being consistent about a small sin becomes a grave sin in your case. Doing something that is considered minor over and over again, this becomes a kabira from the major sins. Because you are belittling the rights of Allah. It becomes unimportant to you that it's not a big deal to disobey Allah. Or the other interpretation that you will continue to, continue to do it until it becomes a kabira in your case, which will lead you to other kabair. A number of explanations given by the ulama. Now, now 